welcome to an original. We try this production. Today I'll be offering my GML lesson number four, teaching you about the if and conditional operators, or more commonly known as if and else in game GML or game maker language. So, continuing from where we left off, we're gonna make a script script. So after this script, this is where the basics will be over. We're going to start constructing a small-time platformer engine using code. I'll be doing a step-by-step -step process teaching you about how to instruct the code. And we'll be making a small-time platformer engine with gravity, walking it, and other things. So we have the if and else, which is basically, you probably already know them by using test variable actions and other things, among other things, the else button and on the control tab. So let me just show you guys, I guess. So you type in if, let's well, use a function. So let's use a key press. So if keyboard underscore check underscore press visual key underscore up. This is, so basically what this says, this is the keyboard underscore check underscore press command. So this checks if I press a button. And in this case, it's visual key. It's VK underscore up or visual key underscore up, which is the up button, which is the up arrow key. So it checks if I press the up arrow key. So if I press the up button, this has to show a message. This is just a basic aspect show underscore message um let's say you have pressed the up button I'll just do an else if keyboard underscore check underscore rest VK underscore down do the same thing so show underscore message you have pressed the down button And so this is just a very brief way of doing this. This is just a very brief way of doing this. So to show you guys this, I'll put it in an object. And yeah, I'll execute it in a step event for an object just to show you guys. So it's just a very brief if and else. We'll be using many functions to create our basic platformer system for a player and then we'll go into more depth about creating more things so let me create this I changed my menu up a little so you're going to ignore these extra actions so let's go add event step step control execute script if and else Okay, it looks much neater, and it's probably like a temporary solution, if and else. And let me go. Hold on for a moment. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, hey guys. Oh, I gotta fix that bug. I didn't fix that yet. Whatever. So when I press the up button, you press the up button. Okay, when I press the down button, you press the down button. I didn't want to make one for the left or right, because I didn't feel like typing it, but up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Well, this has been an original. We tried this production. I hope you enjoyed. 
in my next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create a basic platformer walk system with gravity, solid, jumping, and everything else. In my next few tutorials, I should say. It's probably going to take up more than one. So until next time.